Welcome back, Roadie Foodie fam, to another video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Join us on YouTube memberships. Happy Taco Tuesday. We stopped by over at our familia over at Cali Taco. I love that I've introduced them to so many people, have brought people there. Just a great family who does great things. And of course, we have Sleeping McGee over here. He's been to, he, we've been on the road for about a few hours now. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. We got some rolled tacos here. All right. AKA taquitos. I don't know why they call them rolled tacos. And then obviously you guys know I had to get that good, good right here. Look at this. We are stocked up, ready for the day. Little Taco Tuesday action here. I don't know what's the best way to kind of show you guys this stuff. Maybe like this. Maybe we'll use this. Oh, I just, I just did something. All right, here we go. Little thumbnail for the fam. All right, I love it. All right, shout out to Crumble Cookies. Look at these glasses they sent me. I love them. All right, so let's get some salsita going. How's the fam? Everyone's like, Loop, where's some videos? You've only been doing lives. I love you guys. Sorry about the sitch. But life has been crazy. All right, taquito time. Look at that. I love that they call them roll tacos, though. Look at that. Mmm. These are stuffed with, um, with chicken. Mmm. Definitely hitting the spot, I'll tell you that right now, fam. Living La Vida Taco. Oh. Also, funny enough, we were parked right over there. And um, I purposely parked next to a, um, to a parking spot that no one else could park next to. You know, I had like the lines. We're set up, ready to film. They literally pull up right next to me. And I, and I wait, I give them like a second, right? It's a little bright here. Shout out to the humidity in Rhode Island too. If, they, if it could stop being so humid, that'd be great. Um, they pull up right next to me, guys, and I swear, I have my sunglasses on, and they're just staring at me. I pretend I'm talking to Brisket. I'm like, Brisket, I love you. I say that all the time anyways. But... Nothing but eyeballs. And I was like, yo, I'm either going to get murdered here or something's about to pop off. So I literally nonchalantly packed everything up and we moved over and here's where we are. I'm literally waiting for them to come over here. Mmm. Thank you, baby Jesus. Oh, there we go. So we got three carne asada. Three taquitos. Mm. And I wonder why they call them rolled tacos. You know what? We're about to make it a supreme, too. Look at this. Look at this, fam. Oh no, party almost left. The party bus almost left without us. There we go. The droppings of one feeds the other. It's just the way that beautiful life is. Mm.
I think I'm gonna say something I've never said before. Or maybe something that I've never really just mentioned, really. I think by accident, this is gonna sound funny, but stay with me. I think by accident, I typically get tacos on um, on Tuesdays. This is another idea I would do. I would just open up a little taqueria. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I would just do straight up street tacos all day. Mmm. It just hits the spot. I don't know what else to tell you, fam. It just hits the spot. Yeah, let's go. Okay, updates. What are we doing this week? <clears throat> we have three roadie foodie shoots. I'm helping the city of Providence and Warwick uh, promote some fun, some fun stuff coming up. Um, I'm also helping out uh, the Federal Hill. Oh, we already did the Federal Hill Association. Hmm. This weekend. Hmm. I don't have my calendar in front of me, but tomorrow we're doing something. I forgot what the heck it was. But this weekend's a big weekend for uh, for the fam. We have. I started a uh, I started a new show called um, Kids Con, which is um, which is a kids convention, and it's doing really well. I'm just so versatile. Just having fun. We're just having fun out here, fam. Do I have kids? No. But a lot of a lot of friends my age have kids, so we're like, you know what? We're gonna do a kids con here. We're gonna do a kids con. Mmm. And then Sunday, we have a big martini event coming up I have like 20 plus different bartenders from 20 different bars come in we have a fun little competition attached to it so that event itself will be coming to a city near you too Also, we're putting together what's called a foodie 5k. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, Loop. I don't like to run. 5Ks are just not in my they're not in my wheelhouse. Fret not, my friend. Neither is it for me. But when you get a chance to walk around and try little sample, little samples
Hold on one second. I want this money back. Mmm. I need more napkins. From different restaurants. You better be you better believe your patooties. I'm gonna make it down. Oh, this is so good. This filled me up though. This looks like it might be lunch and dinner here. Look at this. Oh, perfecto. Perfecto. Me amigos. Get the extra sauce. The salsita. I need a bib. Get over here. Save a little steak for brisket. Taco Tuesday. Done right, my friends. Done right. Oh. I don't know what this cost me, like 12 bucks maybe. Thirteen. Oh. Fifteen with the soda. Also, I made a little guest appearance on channel NBC 10 here in Rhode Island. I joined my friend Temi at a restaurant. <clears throat> she does amazing work. And i um, going to be doing some stuff together. So your boy made TV. This beautiful... <laughs> this face... Face made for radio, made it on TV. And uh, I have another TV guest appearance to make next month. It, I'm not big on them, but I know that it's in order to grow, in order to help support restaurants. Um, I gotta put, uh, I gotta put this, uh, this face only a mother can love out there, so. I'll send you guys, um, I'll try to put the link for uh, that TV guest appearance on in a community tab. And hopefully you guys let me know what you think. It's super, I'm only in like, I, we were there for like at least a couple hours, but it's so weird how, it's so crazy how much they film. And then when it gets edited down, how much they really use. So I think I'm in it for like, like 20, 30 seconds, if that but it's a i think it's like a four minute segment but it's not about me it's about the food anyways but the family uh it's a place called stack house in in soco and uh we're just really excited to be helping support a, a local restaurant here in rhode island all right guys um i love you enjoy your taco tuesday like comment share subscribe let me know what you guys have been up to i'm gonna put this away right now and uh wish me luck um after this weekend the following weekend we do our final test drives i'm going with a car person i feel comfortable going to a dealership that uh, my friend is friends with and he can also knows about cars and financing and knows how to make sure i basically said listen i would love a deal but i'm looking to just not get hosed i don't need the you know those all those extras that they try to sell you uh, just so that they can make more money i just need a vehicle that when i turn on i don't have to uh say 10 hail marys and uh 45 our fathers uh that will get me through the day so um but i'm telling you i think the next person whoever uh the old subi goes to the next person that has it all it needs is like about, I don't know, 800, maybe $1,200 worth of work with new tires. And it's a good A to B car. 
but the type of traveling that we're gonna be doing, guys, we need to be going coast to coast, LA to Chicago. Um, we need something a little more reliable, something a little bit that gets a little bit more than 20, maybe 22 miles per gallon. So we need something in the like 40s. And that's why we're looking at hybrids right now. So I need to be able to cut my, my maintenance and my gas consumption in half uh, because we're gonna be doing twice as much traveling, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Uh, but other than that, fam, I love you. Be well, eat well, and take care of each other, all right? Bye.